You see, we expect to have a relationship with God just by coming to church on Sunday, showing up, singing a few hymns, listening to a fat guy speak for a while, and then everything's hunky-dory. God wants to walk with you every single day. He'd walk through the garden and he and Adam would, would talk to each other. That's why Paul said, and this is the confidence that we have in him, knowing that whatever we ask, he hears us. Wow. What does it mean to have a relationship with God? It also means that we share in the difficulty and, and the joy. What does relationship mean? Relationship means that we share in, in the excitement. You know what else it means? You share in the trash. You see, we don't have a relationship, so everything is, Woo, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. You know, it's kind of like the guy that looked at his bride and said, well, the honeymoon's over. What are we going to do now? Notice what the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 8. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care on him, for he cares for you. Be sober, vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. As a believer in Christ, Satan wants to attack you. He wants to wear you out. He wants to tear you up. He is coming for you. He's coming for your family. Sometimes it's going to be tough. Sometimes life is going to be difficult. Sometimes it rains on the just and the unjust. But relationship is that in it, we share it all. God wants to celebrate when you're celebrating. He wants to weep when you're weeping. 